welcome to my channel cooking with Nitisha. If you like to watch how I prepare this yummy looking chole or chickpea curry then stay tuned because in this video I'm going to share with you my recipe for chole and you can have this chole with bature or rice and this is very delicious and really easy to prepare so let's get started so these are cooked chickpeas and the measurement is for this i use two cups of uncooked chickpeas i soak them overnight and i pressure cook them so now they are nicely done and you can see they are cooked completely next is tomato puree as you can see is one and a half cup of tomato puree I have used fresh tomato uh, about three three medium sizes tomato give me one and a half cup of tomato puree you can use the ready-made one the store bought they will give you nice color but they are a little tangy so that's why I'm using the fresh tomatoes so here I have a little more than one cup of finely chopped onions one tablespoon of ginger two tablespoon of garlic then I have some cilantro here, lemon. And I have some slit chilies. Then I have here chole masala, Kashmiri red chili powder just for the color. These are not so spicy. Then I have chili powder, cayenne pepper. These are spicy ones. So this one I'm just using for the color. Then I have coriander powder and turmeric. The spices here you can adjust according to your preference but I will let you know how much I'm going to use during the cooking process. So let's begin. So into this pan I'll be adding oil. You can also use butter but I'm just going to use oil here. And I forgot to show you guys, I also have taken here a 2 teaspoon of cumin seed and half teaspoon of mustard seed. And I'll add it into my oil once my oil get ready. And it is time to add. I'll let it crackle. They already crackled. I'm going to add ginger in here. Like this. And garlic. Okay. Mix it. Okay. And then I have two dry chilies that I'm just going to drop here. So I'll let this cook for about one minute or until our garlic start turning brown. Garlic has turned brown a little bit. Now I will add my onion. I'm using finely chopped onion here because I like some texture in my gravy. But if you like smooth gravy, you can grind this onion to fine paste and use it. Now I'll add a little bit of salt. Let your onion cook about 1-2 to two minutes or until it starts turning brown. Stir in between so it doesn't stick. Let's check on him. That's it. It's time to add our tomato puree. Mix it. Now I'm going to cover and let it cook for one minute and I'll come back and check on it. So let's cover and let it cook for one minute. Now let's check on him. Mm. Now I'll start adding my spice here first. It's like half teaspoon of turmeric powder, one teaspoon of coriander powder, half teaspoon of chili powder. This is two and a half tablespoon of chole masala that I'll be adding it. I'll add this Kashmiri chili powder for color. I'll add, this one is not spicy, so you can add 
a little more that's fine so I'm adding two teaspoons and I'll let all the, the spices cook a little bit all right masala has been roast for a while and here I will also add these little chilies and I'm going to add water add water according to the consistency you want of your gravy so now mix it and now I'm going to add my chole in it, the chickpeas mix it now I'll be adding just a little bit of the cilantro just for the flavor and I'll keep the rest for the garnish now I'm going to cover and let it cook for about six to seven minutes let's check on it mm. gently mix this now I'm going to squeeze the lime over it we're ready to plate this let's plate them I'm going to stir this into this bowl yes I'm going to garnish this with some sliced onion some cilantro over it I have shared with you my version of making chole you can enjoy this chole with bature or rice or any kind of Indian flat bread I hope you have enjoyed this video and if you did don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and share this video with your friends and family and do subscribe my channel for more upcoming videos I'll see you in my next video. Till then, bye-bye.